And welcome back, folks. Welcome back to Let's Play Fallout. And now for the third time, because my screen recording software just decided to give me a headache. We have been, when we last left off, we've been, we've just been talking to these people here, the people of Shady Sands, and um, more specifically to Katrina, since I don't know right now which dialogue options um yeah and i forgot to save so let us um go through this conversation again welcome to shady sands traveler my name is katrina my job is to greet strangers and help them understand our village we find that there are fewer problems if you listen to what i have to say yeah in the last video we already learned that she is kind of the tutorial person which tells you about basic things but let us ask her first of all about the obvious thing. I'm looking for a water chip, seen one? As a matter of fact, yes. My old home, Wall 15, had one. I hadn't been there since I was hurt, but you might find what you are looking for there. Someone said they tried to go to the vault to have a look around, but it was dark and the elevator was broken. I hope you're better prepared. Uh, yes, that is... A most important information. Dark and the elevator was broken. I hope you're better prepared. She is basically telling us to get a rope. That's, that's what we will do. Okay, tell me about yourself then. My life was very boring. I was raised in a vault. Obviously. And I lived there for many years. Unfortunately... The text is scrolling way too fast. Unfortunately, we were crowded and life was very bad. There was a schism and many people left, taking with them the best equipment. Probably the water chip then. Still, some of us tried to stay in the vault, but then we were attacked. I was hurt and I ended up here. Now I try to help people. Okay, where was this vault of yours? It was vault 15. It is due east of here. We tried to make contact with some other walls, but we always failed. I think it was the raiders who attacked my fellow dwellers. Be careful. Tell me about the rest of the world. I know very little of the outside world. I escaped from a vault when it was attacked. Unfortunately, I was very hurt and do not remember much of what happened. But Dharma was watching over me and I was found by the people of Shady Sands. I live here now. Have you spoken with Ian yet? He is a merchant guard was hurt. He is recovering in the guardhouse over there. She points to the east. He is more widely traveled than I am. Tell me about this place. You are stand standing in shady sands. We are but a small town in a large world. We just want to be left alone. Besides some mutated animals and other creatures of the desert, only the raiders give us trouble. Aradesh is our leader. He is in a large central house, if you wish to speak with him. Um, where can I get some better equipment, then? You will have to do what we do. Scavenge it, or trade it for it. And if you are attacked, your foes might provide equipment. If you live long enough to loot the corpses. We are a peaceful community, so we mostly barter or trade for the items that we cannot produce. Tell me more about bartering. Bartering is the exchange of goods. You give me some items and I give you items in trade. Since you initiated the barter, I will let you pick and choose what you want. But the deal must be one that I will think I like, so you will probably want to give me more valuable goods that you don't need in exchange for less expensive items that you want. And if you don't have enough items to trade, there are always caps. Bottle caps are the only, only common money found out here. The caps are backed by the merchants of the hub, so we can trade them anywhere. What should I do if I get hurt? Well, if you can't get to a doctor, you will need to heal yourself. Stim packs are a common healing item. Use them on yourself to heal minor wounds. First aid is a slower method, but is always available. For major wounds, like a broken leg, you will need to use a doctor skill. That's all for now. And we have gained 250 experience for the knowledge gained from Katrina. And this 
Kit is very happy, apparently. Let us adjust some settings. Uh, yeah. Up. It should be fine now. Let us talk to Ian. Okay, that's not Ian, but that's some person. Welcome, stranger. We don't see your kind often. Why not? Look, Shady Sands don't need your kind from the hub, or Junk Town, or whatever you come from. We do pretty good by ourselves. The last trader from the hub sold us a malfunctioning irrigation pump. We've had it with your dirty deals. You've got it all wrong. I'm not like that. Yeah, right. So you say. Just don't get into any trouble, okay? No problem. Yeah, some of these people are helpful, uh, others are not so. And I shall steal your ammunition, because I can trade that later back to you. Welcome, stranger. We don't see your kind often. Why not? Look, shady sands, blah, blah, blah. The last trader... Okay, sometimes they give you a different dialogue. Why not? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, uh, last time I got some different dialogue. I mean, last time when I recorded this last time. <sighs> so I had, the first time the recording was screwed up by de Dextery. Um, something just went horri horribly wrong with the encoding. The second time, uh, Afterburner, which I'm using now to record this, decided to not record the in-game sound, but to record my voice. Because it automatically selects the audio source, and if you forget to choose the audio source before you record, then that happens. Okay, let us talk to Ian. Hello, stranger. You look like you're new here. What's your name? I'm Mr. Man. Good to meet you. I'm Ian. What do you do here? I was a guard for the merchants of the hub. However, I was shot during a raid by bandits. I've been staying here since the people have helped me recover. Still, my knowledge of the outside world and my experience make me useful here. Shady Sands is my home now. Occasionally, I even get to visit Junktown or the Hub to do some trading, since I'm the only person here who has ever really left town. Um, I'm sorry to hear about your injury. Thanks. It's been healing up well, thanks to Razlo. What can I help you with? Tell me about the Raiders. There are three groups, the Khans, the Vipers and the Jackals. They pretty much hate each other, but they all raid Shady Sands. Uh, why are Shady Sands is a small but self-sufficient community? The only trouble here is with the bandits and red scorpions. Why are the red scorpions trouble? Red scorpions are very dangerous. They have a poisonous stinger in the tail and they are very quick. Our dish has been trying to find a way to get rid of them. If you feel brave, you could talk to our dish about them. Goodbye. And hello again, because I'm not yet finished with the dialogue. Yeah, the getting through the, all the dialogue options in this game sometimes is a bit annoying, because you end up in a sort of dead end of the conversation, which ends the conversation, even you haven't completely explored all the dialogue, if that makes sense. So basically the dialogue is like a forest of trees, which are disconnected from each other, Okay, I'm not, it's not really helping you uh, understand what I'm trying to say. Does it? Okay. Tell me about uh, Shady. No, tell me about Seth. Seth is a very brave fighter. He occasionally goes to the Red Scorpion Caves to kill a few Red Scorpions, but they always wind up coming back. They are just too many for him to fight. Yeah, they are very dangerous. Um, can you give me directions to the hub and junk town? The hub is a big trading center, se the big trading center far south of Shady Sands. It's run by several different caravan groups of merchants. The water merchants, 
hint. This might be relevant uh, for our quest. The Crimson Caravan and the Fargo Traders. Junktown is a little south and away west. It's smaller but still a good place to drop in for a drink. It's overseen by a fellow by the name of Killian Darkwater, the local shopkeeper, sheriff and mayor. Thanks. Could you help me out a bit? Your experience would be useful. Yeah, basically you can hire this guy, which makes um, a bit makes it a bit easier to get around here in this game. But he wants 100 bottle caps. Which is a bit of a problem because we don't have any bottle caps right now. Or we could just attack him, which wouldn't do anything, but there you go. Okay. We can actually barter with him. Let us see whether he has some bottle caps. Um, okay, this is. Let us see how much this is worth. Okay, 400. 200. Uh, 20. Okay, do we have. How about a knife? 40 and then. And then give me 60 of these bottle caps. No, sorry. Um, 60. Yeah. That should be a good trade. Yeah, we have now 60 bottle caps. Um, which is still not enough. So let us leave. And these kids are still very happy or maybe just radiated. Okay, this one's not so happy. Hi. Where are your parents? I don't know. Around here somewhere. Hmm. Is it just me or does it seem that not all is well here in Shady Sands? A crude but effective toilet. There are some leaves dropped into the hall to manage the odor. That's your basic toilet right there. Okay. Let us enjoy the center of this beautiful community. A pillar. This pillar is the showpiece of the sh Shady Sands Square. It tells stories to remind the people of hope and peace. But I don't like strangers. Yeah, don't bother me. We see a peasant. Good day. And they apparently um, need to expand the irrigation system. Let us talk to the dog. Off, 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 off. Hmm. I don't think we get any other. Uh... Hi. I heard there was a traveler in town, uh, so but I was kind of skeptical until I saw you. My name's Tandy. What's yours? My name is Mr. Man. Well, how do you like our little town? Bored yet? Yeah, this is the daughter of Aradesh. Um, we could try to be honest here. Since we have been living in a, in a vault for all our life, visiting Shady Sands probably, probably is like a revelation to us, but... Uh, we could also go for an, a dialogue option would, which would make her very happy. Um, but I think we should, shall do so next time, folks. Um, so until next time, until then.